Gigantic monsters that sink our ships, raise entire cities to the ground, and can destroy all of humankind. We love telling scary stories about enormous creatures with immense strength. And some of them aren't fantasies, but real giants. In this video, you'll find out how big are the biggest creatures living on Earth right now? Why did ancient animals used to grow to such a colossal size? And which of the creatures that ever lived on Earth is the largest? What are the largest animals currently existing on Earth? This question is not as simple as it seems. Most people will think of the tallest animal first. A giraffe called Forrest, a resident of the Australian Zoo in Queensland, made it into the Guinness World Records for being 5 meters 68 centimeters tall. That's like a tower made of three standard fridges. If we place a London bus next to Forrest, its head will reach two-thirds of the height of the double-decker. But the tallest doesn't mean the biggest, right? So what about weight? In this category, the records belong to the elephants. In the Smithsonian National Museum, you can find the stuffed specimen of the most giant African elephant in history. Henry weighed 10 tons and 886 kilograms. Being 4 meters tall, which is shorter than Forrest the giraffe, Henry was three times as heavy. The elephant weighed as much as an anchor of the massive Queen Elizabeth II ocean liner. We mentioned a ship for a reason, since the sea depths are the home to the undefeated record holder of our era. The biggest of ever measured blue whales was more than 33.5 meters long. That's like four buses standing in line. The maximum weight of this giant was almost 200 tons, and that's one and a half times heavier than the Statue of Liberty without its foundation. The tongue of a blue whale alone weighs as much as an average-sized elephant. But if we look back into Earth's past, we'll have a question. Can the blue giant retain its title of absolute champion? How big were these ancient creatures? Millions of years ago, even insects used to be huge. How about a Meganeuropsis dragonfly with a wingspan of 27 inches, just like the diagonal of a budget smart TV? These giant insects went extinct because they couldn't breathe when the oxygen levels in the Earth's atmosphere fell. But dinosaurs had no such restrictions. Moreover, they could fatten up to their true potential in the dense jungle that covered most land. The largest dinosaur that ever existed is the herbivore Argentinosaurus. When paleontologists found and restored the skeleton of this giant lizard, they got an almost 40-meter-long, 12-meter-tall creature. The Argentinosaurus was twice as tall as our lanky pal Forrest the Giraffe. Around this giant, a frightful T-Rex looked like a chicken, and it was the Argentinosaurus's enormous size that saved it from predators. But what about the blue whale? In terms of size, even our big boy of the seas is no rival to the Argentinosaurus. But since the force of gravity pulled harder on this lizard on land than on a whale in the water column, Argentinosaurus could hardly weigh more than 100 tons. The extinct giant was half the weight of a blue whale, which means the whale holds the title. The most enormous prehistoric sea lizards are no match for it. Does that mean our search for the largest creatures on the planet is over? Well, we focused entirely on animals, but Mother Nature has other creatures, and they're much bigger than we used to think. How tall or long can plants be? There are genuinely enormous trees growing in the forests of California. Right now, in Redwood National Park, you can find a sequoia called Hyperion that's 800 years old. This tree is as high as 115.6 meters. That's three times longer than the Argentinosaurus, and approximately one-fifth taller than the Statue of Liberty and Big Ben. This 
is Stratolaunch, the world's biggest airplane, and its wingspan is only 1.5 meters more than the height of Hyperion. However, there are plants with an even more impressive size, even if not in terms of height. Rattan palms that grow in India can reach up to 350 meters in length. This giant vine, which is just a couple of centimeters thick, could easily twine around the Eiffel Tower, and there would still be some extra length left. If we want to find a worthy competitor for the rattan, we must dive underwater. This is the Posidonia Oceanica, and at first glance, it looks like common grass. But when biologists examined some of these bushes on the Mediterranean seabed, they discovered they were looking at the most extended plant on Earth. Stems of only one Posidonia cover eight kilometers of the seabed. That's a bit less than the height of Mount Everest, and equals two laps at Daytona International Speedway, where NASCAR races are held. But if we consider weight, neither Posidonia nor Rattan and not even sequoias can even compare to other truly enormous creations originating from North American forests. This is Armillaria, also known as honey fungi. Its caps barely rise above the forest floor, but the central part of its story is hidden beneath the surface. In the state of Oregon, scientists found out that the root system connects the honey fungi into a single organism, stretching for more than nine and a half square kilometers. That's a little more than the territory occupied by the largest Australian airport in Sydney. This huge this huge mycelium weighs at least 7.5 thousand tons. That amounts to 50 regular one-story American houses. But let's bear in mind that mushrooms consist primarily of water, which means the real dry weight of this giant could be 10 times less than that. Can there be a similar enormous tree organism? This aspen grove in Utah occupies 43 hectares and consists of clones of the same tree interconnected by the root system. Scientists call this unique creation Pando Grove. Its wood is considered as heavy as 6,000 tons, and this time it's the dry weight. That's like three Hyperion sequoias, or 40 houses. The Guinness World Records mentions the huge mycelium as the largest organism on Earth, and Pando as the world's most massive plant. There's some bad news, though. Pando has been gradually dying due to environmental deterioration in recent years. The largest animal, the blue whale, is also in danger of being completely annihilated by humans. And although we still like telling stories about scary giants, the reality is quite the opposite. The most giant and most beautiful creatures on the planet are in the face of impending danger by all the people's little things, which we try to compare their sizes.